bid'atun tajma'una khayran min as-sunnati allati tufarriquna they say an innovation that brings us together is better than a sunnah that's going to divide us hadha kalam batil wa mardud so an innovation that was invented by man is better than the way of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wal iyadu billah fa naqulu lahum al-shaykh al-fawzani said we say to these people al muslimun la yatawahhaduna illa ala aqidatin sahiha and ikhwan, this is an important point. And the Shaykh elaborates upon it because they accuse the people of the Sunnah of causing division. Even some of the Sufaha, the imbeciles, they say, oh, the people, the Salafis are divided here. Where are the Salafis divided? The Salafis are sitting here learning, Qala Allah, Qala Rasulullah, Qala Sahaba. You're the one with the division. You're the one with the problem. Maybe if you took some time to sit and learn your religion, you wouldn't be making these ludicrous statements. Who are differing? Anta alladhi fihi khilaf. Naam. And Allah said in the Quran anyway, وَلَا يَزَالُونَ مُخْتَلِفِينَ إِلَّا مَنْ رَحِمَ رَبُّكَ They will not cease to differ except those who Allah Azza has mercy upon them. So what's your point? So what, do we stop everything? The people are differing, we're going to stop. Oh, let's just, khalas, it's over, it's dead, finished. No, inshallah we're going to struggle and strive to be consistent upon what Allah has commanded us to do. Naam. Even if there's differing, differing is going to happen in shi'nam abayna, whether we like it or not. We don't want differing. Al Khilaf was sharp. Ibn Mas'udi said, differing is evil. We don't want it. However, when it happens, in order to mother reduce it and escape it, we have to stick to the Quran and the Sunnah with the understanding of the Salaf of the Ummah. That's the only way. And in this is an indication the people of the Sunnah, we want unity. Wallahi, nahnu nureed. We want for the Muslims to unite. Wallahi, hadha ladhi nureedu. Like in, to unite upon what? The Haqq. Also, wallahi, we want good for the Muslims. How can we not want good for the Muslims when in the in At-Tahiyat, As-Salamu Alayna wa Ala, huh? Naam. May salam be upon us and the righteous servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Naam. So the person, we say that in every salam. We say that in every prayer. Sometimes twice in one prayer, depending on the salah. So how can it be that we don't want for the Muslims to unite upon the haqq? The person of the sunnah, he knows he wants the Muslims to unite upon the truth. He wants good for the Muslims. Even he wants the non-Muslims to be guided. But at the end of the day, the only way it's going to happen if we implement what Allah has legislated. Because Allah created this creation and he knows what's beneficial for them. And that's what the chef is going to talk about now. So as for this statement, oh, you, you, you're fitna and you people are this and you people are that. Don't think that these false allegations are going to cause us to leave the book and the sunnah with the understanding of the salaf. These same allegations were made against the scholars that came before us. We heard the allegations that they made about al-Barbahari, rahimahullah, the people of innovation and misguidance. Yes, we want unity. Wallah, we want good for the Muslims. We want good for the Muslims. However, goodness it lies in following the book and the sunnah with the understanding of the salaf of the ummah. So Shaykh al-Fawzani said, he said, we say to them, Al-Muslimuna la yatawahaduna illa ala aqeedatin sahiha. The Muslims will never unite except, except upon the correct creed. Al-aqeedat allati jama'at al-sahaba. That creed that united the companions wa kanu mutafarriqeen. That aqeedah, that belief which united the companions and they were divided prior to that. Kama qala ta'ala, as Allah said, وَذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ Remember the blessing of Allah upon you. إِذْ كُنْتُمْ أَعْدَاءً فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ Remember you were enemies and Allah joined your hearts. Who joins the hearts? Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah is the one that joins the hearts, not us. You can be friends with somebody for how many years and that guy stabs you in your back. You, it's not in your control. You may think, how could he do that to me? I, how, how? Allah joins the hearts. The Prophet sallallahu said, Uma tawad Two people never love one another and then were split between them. Illa bi dhanbin yuhdithuhu ahaduhuma. Except to a sin that one of them committed. May Allah protect us from that. So opposing the Quran, opposing the Sunnah, with the understanding of the Salaf is going to cause disunity. And Allah joins the hearts. Allah connects the hearts. Al-arwah junud mujannada. The souls, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, they're like a recruited army. Those souls that agree with one another, they will be together. Those souls that disagree with one another, they will be apart from one another. This is the souls. To the extent some of the Salaf said, if a person, of, if a believer was to enter the masjid, and in that masjid, you had 
a hundred hypocrites and one believer, he will go to that believer. They're like magnets. Allah joins the hearts. Not you. Not me. Naam. To the extent, if you had a masjid, a hypocrite was to enter that masjid, and you had a hundred believers but one hypocrite, you would be attracted to that hypocrite. Because the souls are like a recruited army. May Allah gather our souls with the righteous and protect us from the evil.